Today I'm going to be changing this uh, CV axle on this 2006 Ford Freestar. I didn't see any videos online showing someone changing an axle on a Ford Freestar, so I figured I'd make my own. I rented this slide hammer from AutoZone, and all they had was this real axle bearing removal set, so hopefully I can get behind it with those. The driver's side, you should be able to remove easily with a pry bar, but as far as what I can tell from uh, Ford uh, Motorcraft and their uh, service manuals is that the passenger side, it's so difficult to get to, you have to have a slide hammer. Went ahead, got a pickle for it, in case I uh, need to separate the ball joint. I'm going to try to do as little as possible, remove as little as possible. I got this tie rod in puller in case I need it. We're going to be changing the seal, so I went ahead and got a seal removal tool as well. So let's begin. First off, you're going to need a 30 millimeter socket. I prefer a six point, and uh, this is to remove the axle nut. I always like to clean up the threads. That way the axle nut can come off easily. I also clean up this end as well. You want the vehicle on the ground, parking brake set, and even preferably if you can block up the tires to do that, it'll make getting this axle nut off a lot easier. We'll go ahead and break the lug nuts. I got this little electric impact with a 19 millimeter socket. Spray a little <clears throat> PV blaster on just enough to where the threads will be lubricated. That would be enough. And that was easy. Next is get your vehicle jacked up get you some jack stands for safety and finish removing your tire. Next up is to remove your caliber guide bolts or 12 millimeter. That's these bolts right here. That's another one. This sits right there. And remove that 8 millimeter and that'll allow you to get all these brake lines and ABS cables up out of your way. I hung mine up on the strut, up on the spring way. Once the axle comes out of the bearing, it's not going to strike anything. And then I'm going to remove this brake holder bracket, and that has two 8mm screws. If you guys can see that or not. One at the top and one at the bottom. already got the top loosened up. I'm going to use the pneumatic gun to get under the bottom one. That come out pretty good. Right. Just watch and don't lose your brake hardware because you'll need it when you're putting this back all together. together it well you don't lose it now put your nut back on and get it flush with the end that way you don't mushroom that out then just take your hammer you can even put a block of wood over it but i'm not too worried because i don't have to turn this back in as a core she's a moving
probably knock it on out with the nut if I can. Rather next. Now I've got it pushed back far as it will go. I've already got the washer took off. Now I need to take off. See it right there above the ball joint that pinches it. This side right here is an 18, and the other side of it, the bolt side, is a 15. I'm gonna clean it up first with a wire brush. Got my 18 deep well over it with a ratchet. I'm gonna hold it and hit the other side with this electric pneumatic gun. If you guys can see that or not. Finally, after getting the ball joint to release, it will spring up, but then that lets you remove your axle. Now that axle, whenever I got that ball joint to release, it actually pulled the axle on out. It wouldn't even, that circle clip wouldn't even holding it in there. So you always want to lay them side by side. Make sure everything's going to match up and count your splines. Same thing where I'm going to be changing this oil seal. And you can see the one that's still in there. Look at all that wire where that axle's been loose. So hopefully there's no damage to the differential. We get this put back together and everything's going to be all right. Take your seal puller. Thank you. 